fighting force and those angels all around my delight is found in knowing that you wear the victor's crown you're my help and my defender you're my savior and hallelujah my friend. hallelujah this my is the word of god brought to you by jesus shatter youtube channel and as inspired by the spirit of jesus and the word of god is about is for god's glory is for god to reveal himself some things may happen to you something may happen for god to show his power in you some things may come to you for god to manifest his glory and to make people believe in god something may happen for god to show he exists sometimes god allow things to happen that are beyond human understanding so people know higher hey, there is god if something can happen beyond our expectation that according to human reason it's not possible but it happened so people to know there is superpower beyond the expectation beyond god allow things to happen god may allow some people even to decide to bury you to finish and do everything and finish their strangulation finish whatever they want to do with you thinking they are finished to destroy you then god lays you up so they know hey yeah, we don't have power to do that there is god in heaven when joseph brother sold their brother to slavery and cheated their father that he was eaten by an animal and they put blood on the cloth that just jacob had bought to his son joseph jacob the father of joseph he bought a cloth a very beautiful one because he loved joseph jacob loved the children of lecho lecho had two children there was joseph there was uh, benjamin jacob had three wives there was lecho there was rea there was biriha so the woman he loved so much was lecho but he, because of evil he did long time ago of stealing bad life of his brother he was made to work many years to get the right wife he wanted lecho so because he loved lecho he loved the children of lecho who was joseph and benjamin who are the last born Benjamin was the most last born than Joseph. Their brother was Jerusi when God anointed Joseph to be a, had according to dream and interpret dream. Their brother under the power of Satan was Jerus. And for the Jerus they sold him to slavery. Jerus is the most cause of murder in this world. Even them they wanted to murder Joseph. But the spirit of God talked to his brother the senior one. and told them don't kill him let's sell him to slavery the most cause of murder in this world is jiras you see somebody was killed by his wife by his father, by his brother by his husband because of jealousy daniel was sold to the to be eaten by lions by his workmen because of jealous because he was anointed he had the knowledge he had knowledge beyond human understanding he was helping the kingdom of king darius Many ministers were killed you know in your country because of the great wisdom they had. Jerus is the most cause of murder in this world. They are brother to Joseph. They wanted to kill Joseph. But they managed to sell him to slavery instead. They kept secret that we never be known and we sell him to a far country. But later God came to make Joseph the prime minister and later they went later in life to realize he was a prime minister. They thought he is a slave. And he realized he is the second in leadership in Egypt second in command like a deputy president or deputy prime minister he was second in command so they know there's some power beyond us they thought they have power to stop him they found he's still worshiping god the word of god come from the book of romans roman chapter 9 verse 17 niv bible 2011 and it says For scripture says to follow for scripture says to follow I raise you up follow for this very purpose that I might display my power in you and that my name might be proclaimed in all the earth That is the book of That is the book of Romans 9 verse 17 NIV Bible 2011 God was telling follow I raise you up so I can manifest my power in you Remember, Pharaoh decided 
he will make Israel slave. And to his belief, he thought he has power to control Israel and make them slave and work for him as slave forever and ever and ever and ever. Until they die, they will be my slave. They will make me live like a king and they will do hard labor. They will always work hard and be a slave and be made to work very hard as slaves forever. But God made this to happen. To show Falao that Falao to believe I have all the machinery. I have all the army. I have all it pertains. I have all the weapons. I have all weapons. I have all bullets, bombs. I have all manpower. People say government is a force. You cannot fight the arm of the government. It's so powerful. During one party system, if you try to oppose the government, you are, they come to your house and kill you or take you to prison. They say they are the powerful arm of the government and they use army and police to enforce their work and law to maintain the law. Falau had power. The Bible says in Revelation, I think that people are saying, who can oppose the beast? Who can fight the beast? But the Bible say. God will allow the Antichrist to appear the most powerful person and beat up by any power for him to reveal himself in the Antichrist. That Antichrist will come and go. Titanic came and go. God revealed his power by allowing people to believe no one can fight the beast. No one can fear Titanic. The one who created Titanic, the great ship, he said, this one, even God cannot fail it. The Titanic cannot fail. It is a powerful ship that will never, will never fall down. It was a powerful ship. What happened to Titanic? It fell and killed millions of people. God allowed human beings to think they have the power to change. They have the power to change what God had decided. God told Pharaoh, I have raised you to glorify myself in you. And he's spoken again in Exodus. Exodus chapter 9, I think verse 16. That's where it was quoted. That I raised you up for me to show you it is me in charge. Because Pharaoh thought, I have, I'm in charge. This Israel will work for me forever. They will never go off me. They will be my slave. You married somebody and said, you'll be my slave. I'll make children with you and I'll make you work for me. I will use the idea that you love your kid so that you became my slave. It is not real love I have for you. And they don't tell you. They just take advantage of their children. He can never leave his children. So with that, I'll make him slave forever. You do this children in love. People decide to take the church of God. But God manifests his glory by allowing these people to do that to show them they are not in charge. It's God. Why does God allow that? God allowed people to arrest Jesus and say Jesus is spreading the false gospel. The book of Matthew 27. They say there is no other gospel that is fake and deceiving like this of Jesus. We know the Bible from A to Z. The teachers of the law say, we are the one in charge of the law of Hebrews and Jews here. But this man came the other day, he was born. The other day and say he is God. We'll finish his ministry. There's a song you used to sing when you are young. Wari po muwa yesu wari dhani wa meshinda kube badara yake injiri kahubuliwa. That when they killed Jesus, they thought they have won. But it was the beginning of the gospel that will never stop. That was the song says. And it's spoken in Matthew 24, 14. The gospel will be preached. It will not be stopped. When they killed Jesus, they thought they have finished the gospel of Jesus. But little did they know it was the beginning of unstoppable gospel. They were fighting for mountain to hide them. They were saying, let us come with a, a cheating way, a report of force, saying Jesus did not resurrect. But the news had spread so much that it could not be hidden. 
those who thought they finished you, they tried to hide and look for mountain to hide them. They tried to hide the resurrection of Jesus, but they could not. For God to break the hard heart. There are people who have hard heart that they cannot believe in God. They are so hard that they believe their wisdom. It is my wisdom. I will fail you. You thought you are clever. The Daniel workmen, they said, you thought you are clever. You think you are the one who is saying this kingdom. We will finish you. What did God do? God kept quiet. Even Jesus was in the cross. Even Jesus went to Esther and asked God, God, why are you quiet? But God wanted them to finish their verdict. They killed, they, they crucified, they nailed Jesus, they pierce him, they, they vote, their, they take the cloth of Jesus and vote to take the cloth of Jesus. They mock him, they, they Jesus to die, they bury Jesus, they put security, army, the guarding people, they put a stone so that Jews who not see the body of Jesus say, Jesus resurrected and it's a hoax to keep the promises of God to cheat that Jesus resurrected. But God waited all this to happen, even the security to be put, for God to come and resurrect Jesus by passing the security, by passing the big stone, by passing the barricade to make these people worship God. To make them know we don't have power, it's God. We cannot change that Jesus will not resurrect. He's resurrected. We cannot stop the gospel. God said, I am coming to bring unstoppable gospel. I am coming to deliver the people and connect them to me through Jesus. But they said, no, this is not right. But can they change what God said? No. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 to 8, that door, when God opened the door for you, they will try their wisdom. They will try their witchcraft, like Barak and Barak. They will try all means, like Daniel Ackman, to put in the lion's test. They will try all means to put in the fire, like the three Jews. They will not do nothing. God will wait them to finish doing that, to come and deliver you out of the fire. God will not make you not to go to the fire. He will wait for you to go to the fire. He will go with you to the fire. So those who put in the fire know there is God who go beyond. That you, you, you cannot be burned by the fire. Even when they thought they put you in the fire. It is God in charge, not us. We don't have power to do that. We don't have power. That if Peter was put in the fire and was not burned, then there is God. If Daniel was put in the lion's den and Arius did not touch him, then there is God. That's what God was saying in Romans chapter 9 verse 17. That I raised you far out to reveal my power in you. Falao said you will never go. They went to test. Moses put the iron snake. They are eaten by Falao snake. They are beaten. They are healed. There is no sign, no miracle was done by Moses that could soften the heart of Falao until God killed the firstborn of Egypt. Falao said, hey, this is too much. Let them go. If you know my people, even my son was killed by the angel of God. So Pharaoh said, let them go. But even after they were going and crossing to victory, the Pharaoh said, how can we let these people go? Exodus, Exodus chapter 14. We must bring them back. Power, the Bible says in Exodus 14 that God, changed them. God made the Pharaoh to harden his heart. To say and change his mind and say, let's go back to these people. There is no way. We need them back. When the revival came to you, those people say, we need Peter back to Egypt. They mean, we need you, Daniel, back. You must make law that Daniel must worship idol. We need Peter back. We need Daniel back. God allow them to change their mind when they see the revival. Peter is sick. He's not, this is not preaching. He's sick. We must make him believe in mental sickness. They, they, God make them change their mind. Pharaoh was made to change his mind. When you read Exodus 14, God said, I'll make Pharaoh change his mind so that I reveal myself in him. So when they said, let's go for them, they started going to them. In front of Israel was the Red Sea. The Israel asked Moses, why you allow us to come and die in the desert? Why you didn't allow us to live in the slave and die while doing slave work? Pharaoh told them, Moses told them, wait, 
be still and see this Egyptian you see coming to you to take you back to slavery. You see them no again. God will fight for you. Just be still and see the deliverance of Jesus. So the Pharaoh army came with bullets, with all weapons, and closed the Red Sea. What did God do? When Moses struck the water and made the way, when the Israel closed the Red Sea, God told Moses, put the stick again so the water can come back. All the army of Pharaoh were buried. And God wanted to show Pharaoh, it is me. When I deliver, I deliver. You don't have power to change that. And God promised us. And he said, promises are true and amen. He said in Revelation 3, verse 7 to 8, if I deliver you, that door I open it for you for delivering you. They will try to take it away. They will try to take your crown away. They will not stop it. Just be faithful to me and see. You be still. They will do nothing to you. Satan can do nothing without my knowledge, within my authority. God told Satan, don't touch Job. You can do whatever, but don't touch him. God, Satan, even the age of the devil, they don't do anything without God's permission. So long as you stay in the safety of Jesus, no power of darkness will touch you. There is no jail manufactured by Satan that will overcome you, that will hold you captive if you worship God sincerely. When God was speaking through the one who wrote the Romans chapter 9 and Romans chapter 11, when he was speaking Romans chapter 9, verse 17, saying, I raised Father out to glorify myself. He was speaking about end time, where God will have mercy on people who want to have mercy. God said, I have mercy on those who I want to have mercy. But people decide for you. They said, during the days of Jesus, we will have mercy on Barnabas. But fear Jesus. We will pass Barnabas. If you read the book of Matthew 27, they said, let's pass Barnabas, who was a notorious criminal, and kill us since Jesus. But God said in Romans chapter 9, I'll have mercy on those who have mercy. It is not people's decision. When you read chapter Romans chapter 9, verse 16, it says, it is not people's effort. It is not your decision. It is not your, your, your judgment. They pass decision to vote Jesus out and pass a criminal. But do they have power? No. God says it's not human effort. It calls for God's mercy. That's what Jesus said to a Peter in the book of Galatians chapter 2. It is not circumcision. It is mercy through, through faith. It's faith. When you have faith in Jesus, you have mercy. It is not something you do. It is not people to pass you. It is not people to vote for you. That is the Holy One. God can see your heart. God can see your dedication. God can see your devotion. God knows the genuine one. People, if people are to pass you, nobody will, only rich people will pass. If people are to pass you, Barnabas will be passed. People who are passing people, they pass a criminal, Barnabas, and fear us in Jesus. It is not people but God. It is God who seal us through his blood. We must get out of deception. We must get out of lies of end time. We are clean and made holy people through the blood, sanctifying blood of Jesus, not people effort. It is not through my control that is coming to take over this world. It is not through my control and fake religion of one world government of new world order of Satan. It is not people passing you. It is God mercy. You must live holy to be passed. You must be sanctified by the blood of Jesus. It is not people's decision. It is not the movement that is coming to this world. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3. There is a movement that will come. A movement of many Christians moving away from the truth and entertaining worship of Satan and doctrines of Satan. Also spoken in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. That in the last days, many Christians will forsake faith and start entertaining, seducing spirit doctrines of Satan and doctrines of demons. If people are to pass you, they will pass Barnabas, they will pass criminal and failure. And the Bible says clearly in Daniel chapter 11, they will be passing criminal, they will be passing evil people, they will be passing sinners. They will be passing deceivers. They will be passing trickle people. They will be passing people who are cunning. They will be passing 
people who are jealous. They will be passing tricky people. They will be passing people who look like rabbits. They are rias. Also spoken in Daniel chapter 8, verse 20 to 25. That the enemy will favor sinners and favor whole people. But you need to know, Jesus said, you will pass the same way I passed. They favored me and passed criminals. Barnabas. Remember, Barnabas stand for sinners. Barnabas was one person, notorious criminal. During holidays, king released every president. Sometimes he releases minor charges. If you stole somebody's chicken, you didn't kill somebody. They say, release these minor charges. And I remember President Moy, every Moy day, he used to release some minor criminals and say, let them be released. Every minor criminal, unless you murdered somebody. Murder is so serious. If you kill somebody, it means you are a dangerous person. That's why a person is in prison forever. A murder person is in prison, is put in jail forever. Why? Because he proved he's not livable in the community. If he kills somebody, that's somebody who has no heart of humanity. And that person is rocked in jail forever. Such criminal cases were not, such criminal are not released. But if you had minor charges, stealing people chicken, you may be released. But if you are murderer, you cannot. So during the time of Jesus, they were releasing minor criminals. So notorious Barnabas, who was a criminal, was released. But they say Jesus should not be released, should be killed. But Jesus had no sin. Point Peter to say, you are passing a criminal and saying, we release a criminal and fail a saint. Yes, you don't worry sins coming to you. No, you don't worry curses of God come to you and your children and your family. No. So Jesus said, this will happen to you also. And he spoke in Daniel chapter 11, Daniel chapter 8. They will be passing sinners and failing Christians. Luke 21 said, they will surround the good people to put them away from God, to desolate them. This is the word of God. Every time the word of God comes to us for a reason, for a purpose. You are saying there, you wonder why, why? You must know. We were given prediction by Jesus, what will happen to us if you worship Jesus genuinely, so we know what to do. So the word of God this time is, and Romans chapter 9 verse 17 that the, the it called for God mercy. It is God lays people like Pharaoh to come and do evil to you to reveal his glory. The Bible say in, in John chapter 11 verse 4 John 11 verse 4 when Lazarus was sick and was some Mary and mother sent a report to Jesus who was two miles away he was in Bethany from where Lazarus was. He said can you send message to Jesus who is the friend of our brother Lazarus who is sick Tell Jesus Lazarus is very sick. To come and pray for Lazarus. Jesus said and told his disciples who are with him. Lazarus is sick. And this sickness is not to death. It's for God to reveal his glory, to manifest himself. And for this reason, God made Lazarus to die. That's why we are saying God allows some things to happen to reveal his glory. Don't know what was happening to you. They stole your family. They stole your money. They took your mortgage for God to glorify himself in you. For God to glorify himself in them. To show them they don't have power to change you. They don't have power to make you go to hell. You'll be raised to be their minister. To be their right. Remember, those who jail power and sealer. Those who are manning power and sealer, they don't cross. Remember in the last days, Antichrist who put soldiers to watch you. You don't cross over. The enemy put soldiers. Paulus had a soldier to watch him. Daniel was being watched whether he's bound to an idol. He's not bowing. And then he went to play. Paul and Sira were locked. Remember, those who jail Paul and Sira. The jailer who are watching, they don't cross. They don't walk out of jail. Some people are put to watch you, don't come out of jail. They will come seeking you to pray for them. It is those people that were jailing Paul and Sira. They were trembling. Say, so what will he say? The jail door open. The prison door, the window open. The chains are gone. What will he say will be? We lose job. But Paul and Sira told them, we are not going to run away. We'll go with you in the presence of the government and tell them it is God who will release us. So they didn't run away because these people were fearing. And those people, Jaira said, the God who made this door to open, can you pray for us? So they were played by Paul and Sira. And this is Acts chapter 16. They were played. 
you are jailers that were made to jail you who come seeking for you to pray for them to receive Jesus God wait for them to be put as your seer as your border watcher to watch you don't close over for God to reveal his glory God wait for them to finish their transgression God wait for them to put you in the righteous dance so they see Ryan did not hit him God wait them to take over your family so you start you resort to addiction you resort to immorality you resort to drinking you resort to depend on mental medicine they realize you are a global pastor they realize you have been anointed and called for ministry they realize you have been given a gift to sing a singing that is touching the whole group this is clear to and as we can see it we see so many people even in my country you can see like Betty Bio he married a fake spouse who who made who cheated her in marriage and he was a criminal but Betty Bio is still shining for God to show such a person you cannot fear a sin we are so many celebrities who are fearing marriages they are they are anointed people of God who have calling of God they marry fake people i know there's another one called Jane Modoni she married somebody who wanted to stop her calling to sing and told Jane Modoni you cannot sing and God anointed Jane Modoni to sing so God anointed Jane Modoni she is still singing that man went away but Jane Modoni is still singing and doing wonders in this world because the enemy think i will marry i will make this woman Jane Modoni to marry to this man to stop this calling of singing to stop it is to source a husband who is her program to come and say and beat you even if you go to sing about god you cannot go to church you cannot worship god so they know they don't have power to do that it is the sin that will go away they will go away the bible say i think first john chapter 2 they went away from you because they didn't belong to you that is the book of first john chapter 2 i think it is the sin that will walk away from you because they think they can stop you god will make them go away and make decision the bible say this is the how you know we in the last hour how do you know we in the last hour one way to know you in the last hour they move away from you because they were not meant for you that is the book of first john i think chapter 2 how do you know we in the last days people who are meant for you they went away because It is the last hour. They walk away. The sinner is the one who walk away because they belong to you. They were from another mother. They are from Ishmael, not from Isaac. Isaac. They were not from Isaac branch. Isaac branch are true people who are from God, the branch of God. But Ishmael, they are people from another mother, from Hagar. They are people who are not meant for you. Isaac, Isaac was the child of promise. but they came from Ishmael from Hagar who was not the child of promise of Abraham remember Abraham is there our father of blessing something may happen for God to reveal his glory and power for God to show you I'm the one in charge God will make them to do their transgression and evil for God to reveal his power and glory God I know something so happen to show he is the one in charge not them and for God to break people sometimes is for God not for them to go to hell is for them to come back to Jesus and bible say in Romans chapter 9 or 11 that Jesus will make Jesus will make and let people who they were not expecting people who are not preaching to preach for them to know that to make many christian who went away to come back to god god will make unless people they did not expect they were the one who are ahead and had anointing of god but instead god will raise people who are not preaching to preach people who are not ministering to minister that what god say in roman 11 and roman 9 that our race people you do not know people you thought they cannot be christian people who know you thought they can't preach 
not for them to go to hell to bring this Israel who are thinking I know how to sing I am a talented singer I am a talented preacher I have a courage to speak in presence of people God will make people God will make people who are shy to preach and with the, through the power of the Holy Spirit to make these people jealous good jealous good jealous for they come back to God I remember when I was came to Australia I didn't know how to drive and those boys we are living with they knew how to drive but they didn't have license when they realized I'm about to get license and they knew how to drive, they rushed quickly to get license before me. They say, how can Peter get license before us? Yet when we go to work in a car place, we drive car, Peter don't drive. How should Peter uh, 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 get the license before us? So they went quickly and get license before me because they knew how to drive. So they just book exam. That's the jealous God was talking about. Our race people do not expect to preach, to bring these people who ran away from me. They said we know how to preach. They were glorifying themselves. It's me who moved the crowd. I'll leave that church for its stop. I'll leave that place and worship so that church fall. They know. They salute me. But God will raise that people you, you thought they don't have a calling. They will take your crowding. The Bible says, watch out. Your crown does not go to anyone. The Bible says, if you walk away, even what will belong to you will be taken off you and given to somebody else. Because of running away from God and glorifying yourself. I will raise people who do not know to bring you back to me. The Bible says in Isaiah 11, verse 10 to 11, God will make the people of God whom he have anointed like Jeremiah, like Nehemiah, like Elijah, to shine for many. And God, the Bible says Isaiah 11, 11, I will stretch my hand again. I'll stretch my heart to try to bring people back who ran away from me. I'll bring them back to you. To bring back to me. And to bring them back, I'll bring people like Nehemiah to build the wall. The block to bring people back. I'll bring people like Elijah to stand for me and say, you, we must stop this bar worship of, of Facebook. This bar of, of Zoom. This bar worship of TikTok. This bar worship of, of, of uh, what do you call it, um, of Instagram. People worship Instagram. Following celebrity, but not following Jesus. This is the word of God. Some things may happen for God to reveal his power and glory. God wants to reveal his power. That I'm the one in charge. God will allow evil people to commit evil, finish their transgression. They finish seeing Jesus, roasting, they're killing Jesus to reveal his glory. They finish selling Joseph to slavery. Completely thought they finished Joseph. For later, many years back to realize Joseph is still alive. Not only alive, not only he's not a slave, but a leader of the nation. The second in command. And God made them to look them to go and look for food, Joseph's brother. They went to look for food in far Egypt when there was, there was famine in Israel. When they went, they realized the one who is giving food, the one who is in charge of this nation, was the only and only blood who we sold to be a slave forever. So they were shaking. To make Joseph's brother believe in God, he had to make them sell him to slavery and say we are the one who is in charge of Jacob family. We are the one who have power to stop you. We are the one in charge and ruling just Jacob family to make them know it is God. They said we will stop your calling. You say you have a dreaming calling that will bow before you. Who are you? Do you think you are? You are the second last born. We help you. We reared you up. We gave you food. We gave you milk. Who are you? So God allowed them to do that. Sell you. Finish and finish their body and put you in slavery. Put you in the lion's den. Put you in the fire. So God showed you them. Lion did not eat you. Fire did not burn you. Slave you, are, you didn't come become. Jesus will finish you. Who is Jesus? His father we know is a carpenter. We saw Jesus growing the other day. Remember Jesus died in the as that three-year-old young man. So say, who is this young man? What is he telling us? We saw him growing. We read him. What is he telling us? And the Bible says he didn't do any miracle in his hometown because they didn't believe in Jesus. So God allows some things to happen to reveal his glory and all that. So this is for you, encouragement for you to know that something come to you for God to reveal himself in you. The Bible says in book of James chapter 1 verse 2 to 4 and do a hardship and trials and difficult time because they are meant for you to mature and grow up 
The hardship are the one who make us grow and stand firm. God allow hardship as a way to clean us. The Bible says the difficult time of Antichrist. They say he will be clean and made a spotless through trial and tribulation. The Bible say in the book of Revelation 7 that those who clean their clothes during that difficult time of trials and great tribulation, the great tribulation of punishing saints, attacking them because of Christianity, desolating them, those who persevere this difficult time, it is how they will be clean. We must come out of deception saying you are clean by passed by people through my control religion, through movement of the who have come to this world to cheat many. We will be clean by persevering in difficult days. The Bible says in Revelation 7, those who persevered, being desolated, they were desolated, they were robbed, so they fall in Christianity. They were punished because of preaching Jesus. They didn't give up. They stood firm like three Jews. They say we don't want to know. We must know. We must keep worshiping God. Whether we put in the fire, it is Jesus. Whether we put in the lion, it's Jesus. Whether we are crucified like Jesus, it is God, it's holiness. Whether we are sold as slave like Joseph, we must we will not change our worship for God. We will not give in. The Bible says these people who persevere, they are the holy people who be sealed. The precious seven in part of 12,000 are the holy people. This is the truth of the matter. You shall know the truth and shall be free. God shall bring some things to you to make the hard heart break them up. Those who say there is no God, God will make them do evil on you. Think they have finished you to believe in the living God. Is that God to allow them to kill you, to bury you? Like Jesus, think they have killed you and put security for God to resurrect you, for God to make the chains of jail to, to break like days of power and Sira, to make these jailers worship God. Hallelujah, this is the word of God. May you be blessed as you purpose to keep going in the worshiping of God, knowing that the trial and tribulations, the Bible says in Revelation 7 are the one that will make us because the people of God by persevering. The Bible says in Hebrews 12, I will shake not only the earth but heaven to know who are my saints so that who, those who are genuine can remain. Those who are not can go. This is the truth of the word of God. May you remain in Jesus so you can be chosen as one of them. May you continue living in Christ. Because you are clean through Jesus by persevering. We are clean by living holy and persevering tribulation. Some things happen. Not for you to die. They took off everything. Remember the Bible says, they steal everything from the holy people. Daniel chapter 9. The anointed one, the holy one. It's for God to reveal his glory. The Bible says, the evil people will be allowed to do this only for a time. For God to manifest his power as he did that for Joseph. As he did for Daniel. As he did for the Jews. As he did for Jesus. This is the word of God. You'll be blessed. Jesus, you overcome. You have reached a crown. Every high thing must come down. In the name of Jesus, pray. Hallelujah. Robo shakarabayanda.